hope y'all are going on. I am back with another video. Um, so today video I figured since it's like 11:46, I am going out that I can do a get ready with me makeup and hair. Um, slash tea time or story time, whichever one you know, I kind of come up and move with. But this is a get ready with me. So I just thought this would be interesting, just to show y'all how I do my makeup. Show y'all it's. I'm not going anywhere shopping yet, but I, I can honestly say every time that I do go somewhere, it's, I kind of do my makeup extravagant, naturally, whichever, whatever I, you know, kind of feel like, like I want to do, like I want to do. So yeah, guys, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting any longer. Just remember to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and hit that bell notification, y'all, and... Yeah, I'm just giving y'all kind of like just woke up vibes, kind of natural me, no lashes, no lip gloss, no nothing. Literally, I just feel about me. Oh, ah, the ghetto! The ghetto! No, it's literally like 11:46 right now. Like, I'm not even joking. Y'all can't see it, but yeah. Like, if y'all see me looking over here a lot, it's because um, I have a turtle that we found today and he's trying to escape. Maybe the water's cold. I don't want to kill you yet. But yeah, guys, let me not hold you guys any longer. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I have my little, like, makeup box thing. It kind of holds everything except my, lab, my um, eye palette, which is fine, but not fine at the same time first off i usually just go in with my anastasia dip brow um and this is um dark brown i'm gonna be rich out i don't know how to pick my shades or color or nothing i literally just picked up what i thought was right um so yeah and i take my little it's no special brush but it's like an angle brush um i got this from my old job actually toys r us I worked at Toys R Us and we used to have a clear section in it, so this is kind of where I got that from. So I usually take my like vanity mirror that I don't have batteries for and just go ahead and start filling in my brows. I'm going to be real with y'all, I have like natural thick brows, so honestly I kind of just fill in the ends and kind of make them how I want them not too thick because you know i don't want to look like i'm back in high school learning how to do just learning how to do my makeup i've been doing makeup kind of sort of since i graduated high school not really i got interested into doing makeup one thing no one can tell me is like oh your makeup's never on point no baby once I mastered the, the no flash method, where you take a picture and you have like no flash, no one was able to tell me nothing. And I don't have like a filling method. I literally just go in and fill. And then when I feel like, when you hit your like concealer and stuff, that's when you fix up your eyebrows. Cause like, i rather get messy and then clean it up. And be safe with it. So I just go in with this little squiggly squiggly thing and just kind of go ahead and shape my eyebrows back into place and just blend it I guess. Honestly, I do need to get my eyebrows arched. That's one thing. I can get my eyebrows arched today and by Monday they're done. So like a week from now. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been making any videos only because I kind of had a video block. And if you never heard what a video block is, it's more of, I already had my first two videos out, of course my introduction, and then the getting to know me, but after it's like, what else could I give them to like make them want more? So I was like, let's do a get ready with me. I think that would be cool. Like a little top, um, a little top get ready with me. 
and then I'm also thinking about coming out with like either munch and Mondays or sipping Saturdays where we like sip wine and talk and rant about stuff or like munch and Mondays where same thing but you know it's like a mukbang mukbang Monday that sounds too common right right so school just started back and I graduate this semester thank goodness I thought I had to wait to like you know summer yet again yeah this is actually my second college I've been to the first one I went to was Barry University which is like in Miami Shores of Miami and I'm gonna be real with y'all it's not a bad school but it's just it, 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 I didn't fit in like I didn't feel like I fit in because it's everyone there was just not the people I'm used to hanging around, you know? I need some life into my life. And I just felt like, you know, it's not an HBCU. It's not somewhere I really, really want to be. So, I decided to drop out of Barry. Ow! I don't feel. Okay, y'all. So I am going to go in and clean up my brows because it looks like who did it and why the hell. So remember I told you I don't know how to fix my skin on um, tone type of stuff. I mean it. I have three concealers that definitely are not my color but I usually use them and I make it work. So I have um, Too Faced. Born and so I kind of just went into the store and grow. I was like oh it's kind of look like my skin color y'all. This. It looks like now, but I promise y'all, this is not my skin tone. And then this one is kind of like a more tannish one. This is just Maybelline. And I ordered this one from ColourPop. It's kind of my skin tone, but it's kind of like a greenish undertone. So, you know, I really just be picking random stuff. So I just go ahead and use a little bit of both of the Maybelline and the Born This Way. Ignore my nails. Today we have like a little barbecue for Labor Day. And we got into this water slide we had. And my cousin thought it was funny to kind of like pull me down on the water slide. And all my nails came off and I got a bruise on my leg. But it was so much fun. Okay, so I usually just put concealer at the bottom of my brows. And at the top I usually do foundation. Just because I feel like foundation makes it look much, much more. Um, naturally so i just kind of start from the bottom and work my way across so. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my MAC foundation, um, NC45, that's the color I have. Just get a little squirt. Let's spice it up a little. How about we do a little, a little story time? Let me find my blue beauty blender first. Stupid. Let me just blend this thing. We'll do a little story time. So I just leave this stuff on here just to like y'all see you see this is my foundation color right look at the color of the concealer like i don't know how like this a professional picked out with me this i picked myself if y'all see me looking over here it's because today i found a turtle we found a turtle that just popped up in the pool actually he's not moving oh please don't die on me oh lord again and yes i call him lucky because he lucky I found his behind. 
he lucky I found him. So I just go in with my color corrector and I just go ahead and do the black part. Lately I've been having like really, really bad acne. And you know, usually I've never had it like this bad, but you know, things happen. This, so I made a get ready with me before, right? And this is the part that made me turn red. Like, I look like a fool right now. And in the video, I wanted to post my makeup was looking so, so cute. But of course, I don't know if it was the lighting that messed it up, but after I did this color correcting, the entire video made me look red. Like, and I was like, I can't post this. I look like a fire truck right now. And I guess it don't make it better than the fact that I have like a red um, bonnet, but I mean, yeah. So usually after I'm the color correcting, I go into my eyes now this is where my extra concealer come on so i go ahead and take my morphe my morphe 165 brush and i just go ahead and you know fill in do a little cut crease for a second just i like to uh put a little there time of when I caught my ex cheat. Now a lot of my friends probably like oh which ex whatever this ex I was with him in college. I was with him in college and um we were, I was like I always kept him low key so like I'm gonna be honest oh I definitely should have told y'all so I'm taking your Pill Me out of my Orange Glad Color Pop palette. Y'all, I promise y'all I love this palette so much. But I'm definitely using your Pill Me. I actually like that. You like your Pill Me, your Pill Me. So, yeah. So he, we went to the same school together, Barry University. He was, kept him low key. Like I didn't tell friends, except for my best friend, of course, Sheena. Um, the people that I'm with, with, I actually don't put them on my social media because I just feel like that's my business and like, you know, when, when t the time comes, then I just feel like that's my business and, you know, it kind of got through my head like, you know, social media is just really honestly just social media. Like, who am I trying to impress? These people know me since like my high school days, whatever. Who exactly am I gonna impress? I don't need to impress anyone. I don't need to show off anyone. I just, I like my life private now. I wish that's something I can tell younger me back in high school, middle school, like keep your freaking business off of the internet. Like people be looking at you walking and be like, yo, she's mad, like she's mad dumb. You know, every time after class, I would go chill with him in his dorm room and his roommates. His roommates were really funny, actually. Like, they were hilarious. Um, if I wasn't at my friend's dorm or, like, yeah, my friends from that school dorm, I definitely would be there. And I was rarely because I was always in my friend's dorm. You know, it was just this one particular day. Um, he was mad at me exactly about what... I, to this day, I can't tell you what he was mad at me about. I just felt like he was mad for no reason about stuff. And he wanted to pick an argument over something, over nothing, to be honest. Over nothing. And, you know, I was like, I wasn't really phased by it. It was just like, you know, I know I didn't do anything. So, exactly why do I have to entertain something that I know I didn't do? So... A good day, good two days, 
my turtle keep trying to get out of the water. It's been a good two, um, good day or two, and I didn't hear from him. So I'm like, oh, cool, you know, let me go check up on him, you know, after class or whatever. I'll make sure he's good or whatever. So after class, I go to his dorm. And when I'm at his room, So yeah, you know, I go to his door to make sure he's okay. So I go in and I knock on the door and his roommate answered. So his roommate, he's like, yo, you know, I kind of felt like something was wrong because he really didn't want me to come in. Um, but he was just like, yo, and he's standing at the door and I'm like, you know, what name I'm gonna give him? I said, is Maxie here? That's not his real name. I'm literally just giving a name right now. So I don't put people out there. So I'm like, you know, is Maxie here, whatever? He's like, no, he's not actually. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, and whatever. So I'm about to leave. And guess who pops out from behind him? Homeboy popped up behind him and he's like, it looked like he just woke up. So I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, what's up? And whatever, he's like, he like looked at me and when he looked at me, he kind of had like a, like a what? Like, like, like he was shocked to see me. At the time, I didn't think anything of it because of it looked like he just woke up. Had on boxer, boxes, no shirt. So I come in, home, his roommate moved to the side. I come in, and when I come in, I go, I, you know, they have kind of like two rooms, and then you have two bathrooms. So you have one room here, one room here, and his room is like on this side. So his room is there, so I go in his room. Why is there another female laying in his bed? Not his roommate's bed. All together, he has four rooms, so two in each room. So he, Oh, you know what's going on here of course I didn't say it like that calmly I'm like so what's going on here what's going on what's going on I'm 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 that type of person I'm not gonna get mad at the female and be like you know what what you doing in my man no because I feel like honestly 100% it's it wouldn't be I feel like 100% it would be the man fault because he knows what he's doing He's, he definitely know what he's doing, what he's done, and at that point he knew he messed up. He's like, oh, you know, that's just my homegirl. That's just my homegirl. Da, 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 da. You telling me it's your homegirl? I know we can't have homegirls that sleep in bed with nothing on, literally nothing. So she gets up and she's like, who? You know, like, is this your girlfriend? Whatever. Else? Minute. Who are you? Uh, apparently not. I kind of just walked out, kind of left it alone, and I didn't look back. Of course, that night he was like texting, calling, whatever. I kind of felt sad because it was like, you know, dang, I got tried yet again. Do I look like I give a because I don't? And he finally told me, like, he's like, I just feel like you don't give me enough attention. Mind y'all, when I was in my first college, I was not in a good place, like at all. Not in a good place. I was definitely careless. And when I mean careless, I mean careless. Like I cared nothing about classes, nothing. I was in a bad, 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 bad place. You know, I felt like I didn't know who I was, whatever. So I kind of lost myself. So I really did neglect a lot of people. And I can honestly admit, I, I did not show him attention. You know, he begged, he begged and pleaded for us to get back together. But I I don't, I, I would be a fool if I go back to that. Are you fucking dumb? 
I've been through enough times taking people back and it's never good it's never a good thing so i just i kind of just moved on from that and just kind of like yeah kind of just left it alone out of my life and never looked back am i mad about it no but you know it is what it is and it's a good thing that i did keep them as a secret because if that would have got out then that would have been bad but yeah y'all that is the time i caught my ex-boyfriend Cheating on me. I'm gonna be real with you. I think every female, not every, but most female go through that stage when they're like, my brush off when a female is kind of like fed up at that point I was really honestly just doing me and you know I was just looking I think I figured that I was just looking for someone to talk to like you know to communicate with do whatever I'm not gonna say I didn't care but it was just like you know one of those relationships are like it, it's we call it a relationship. Oh, my turtle just flipped over on his back. It's kind of like one of those relationships, like, oh yeah, we call it a relationship, but is it really a relationship? Because we're not acting like a couple. The connection just wasn't there. It honestly was not there. And now I feel like now where I am in my life, I'm more focused on me finishing school and getting my money right now because I definitely been moving making moves on my own lately and lately in my life and it's just like i like the feeling i like what i am i like the spot i'm in and i don't need any distractions don't need any heartbreak so yeah i'll talk to people here and there but am i ready for anything serious no i do not need to be not focused on what it really needs to happen in my life that's just me that's just how i feel Y'all, these pigments are really bomb. Like, I am shocked. I just feel like I like talking. I like ranting. That's my problem. I love ranting. I like talking about different problems. And that's just, that's just me. I do my eyeshadow first that way like you see all this excess um powder gate that way I get all that like out of the way that part I go in a little later and like put glitter on and stuff but I definitely like to focus on one part at a time can we like talk about something serious so earlier this morning I was on TikTok and when I'm on TikTok I'm seeing a lot of people posting this video saying like, you know, he really killed himself, whatever, whatever. And people are so cruel, but I'm not thinking anything of it because I'm like, you know, pe some people are like watching something, seeing something, whatever. So I seen a live stream and this is the most, this is number one rated live stream that's going on. I'm thinking, you know, let's see what's going on. It's just this man talking. And when he's talking, he's like on the phone. I don't know who he's on the phone with, if it's his girlfriend or something. And I'm sitting here seeing people like, this is from Facebook, you know. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he did that. Or whatever, whatever. And I'm curious, it's like, what's going on, you know. What is it that people can't believe that this man did? I have no idea what's going on. And here I am just watching the video six minutes into this video this man he kind of like he committed suicide and i just and it, it kind of threw me off like it's been on my mind all day i felt so bad he lost his job and his girlfriend broke up with him and it's so many unfortunate events that actually goes on like that 
And honestly, if you're going through something stressful, please, please, please don't hesitate to talk to someone. Even if, like, that person isn't someone you would usually talk to, I encourage you definitely 100% to talk to someone. I am always open, no matter what, to talk or anything because that is definitely something you don't want to mess with especially when someone is talking about doing something like that because i think personally that's just something everyone should take serious and in the comments people were just like laughing i, I promise you the video was horrible <laughs> I don't understand how TikTok let that video slide and was up there like I'm pretty sure they took it down now but definitely that that video was just yeah I couldn't get that video off my mind at all literally at all if something's going on in life and you do need to talk to someone please find someone to talk to and I am always 100% available. It's just, that, that's a video I definitely wish I didn't have to watch. Okay, so I just go ahead and go in with my ColourPop uh, medium dark. Um, and just go ahead and start to conceal places that need to be concealed. I remember first doing my makeup, y'all. That was bad. Like super, super, super bad. I can post like a picture of it somewhere. And I thought I did something. Like I really thought I did something. But compared to now, I was just like, what? What did you do to yourself? I do believe in like zo like zodiacs um and like stuff like that i do believe in that like i definitely 100 percent believe in that stuff because like i don't know it's just it, it just it's crazy how something hits you spot on like now as far as horoscopes because I never really had like a awakening thing with the horoscope like oh my gosh this really did happen to me like that never occurred to me therefore yeah horoscopes isn't really like a part something I would believe in but zodiacs I definitely do my best friend is an Aquarius and when I read about like Aquarius it's just like when I'm reading about it it's like I'm reading her like I know this person. This is exactly this person. Like, and I definitely do look at zodiacs when it comes to dating. Unfortunately, it's kind of like it's weird ish in a way. And like, I kind of look at the zodiacs and be like, like reading a zodiac when you're in a relationship and it's telling you this is how this person is and when it's spot on like that like i know i i can't date at all a leo i feel like leos and cancer clashes because literally leos like have pride in themselves and then you have a cancer where it's like they're emotional and they let their emotions talk and I'm a cancer. I'm going to let my emotions talk. My emotions definitely do all the talking. I do not hide my emotions. They say a Taurus and a cancer are good together. 
my grandmother's a Taurus. And we clash heads a lot. So it's just like, you know how a Taurus is and how a Cancer is? It's kind of weird, but I guess when they say opposites attract, they mean opposites attract. I do have something to talk about, y'all. September 15th, we will be announcing um, a getaway. Eh, I said a getaway. A giveaway that Sisters on the Block is hosting. And I really recommend a lot of you guys to sign up because... You know, we're giving out great stuff. We're up. Um, there's three winners. And out of those three winners, each of us is giving a prize. And I just feel like this is like an opportunity I will take in. Like anybody can win. You can enter as many times, anytime you want, as many times. I'll put the link below. You just hit that link. Subscribe to our channel. And put your email in. And you're automatically raffling. You can do this how many times you want. I just really suggest you guys enter in um, September 15th is when we're picking the winner. We got 100 subscribers in a week, in four days. That right there is like, to me, amazing because this isn't something I thought would be easy. But I like, you know, creating videos. I did have like a little video blog, like I said, but... I feel like I like giving content that people want to see, people are interested in seeing. I really have a hard time with connecting with people. So I feel like this helps me overcome my fear, overcome my fear of thinking what people think of me. And with those people that subscribe to us and helped us and like shared our page and stuff, we appreciate you guys so, 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 so much because you're not only helping us, but you're helping us give content and getting confidence that we need in order to do these videos. One thing I love about these girls on Sisters on the Block, like Carl and Am, they're determined and they are ambitious women. They don't give up on something that they have their mind on. And you know, I applaud them for that. Lashes make everything look so dramatic. Like, I love it. Lashes are, like, my favorite part of makeup. So, you know what? I think I'm going to announce what I'm giving out. So, my dear friend, I asked her to participate with me in this um part because I feel like, you know, what she does is amazing. I've known her since high school, and this girl is, like, determined. This is someone, like, I want to help, you know, a part of this because she definitely deserves everything because she works so hard, and what she done is bomb. So I have this painting right here. Um, I'm going to drop her name, but her name is Rachel, and she paints. Um, my little Powerpuff girl, my black Powerpuff girl painting. Um, she did everything. She made that art, and she does a whole bunch of different type of art. If you're interested in anime, if you're interested in different color schemes, or just paintings in general, she does it all, y'all. And when I tell y'all, she does an amazing job. She does an amazing job. And I'm not just saying that just because she's my homegirl. But I'm definitely saying it because she, like, I'm going to put the picture right here. This is a close-up of the video that I took when I first got it. She puts her all into it. So I thought, you know, maybe this is something that someone would appreciate. Especially if you're, like, a female. This is something someone... It can help motivate them. Not only motivate them, but like, who doesn't want a nice, pretty piece of art in their room? So that definitely is part of my giveaway. I am purchasing a customized um piece from her. Um, and I do have the unisex just in case you know a male wins. So it's not only for females. So. With that being said, dudes, I better see some of y'all names in these bags too. And then 
in every video I have, in every trailer, every everything, y'all see my LED lights. My LED, I love my LED lights, y'all. So don't don't go saying, oh, you know, aren't you too old to have LED lights? You're never too old to have LED lights. I am giving away LED lights and and that's not even easy. So mind y'all, this is already these are three things that I'm giving away. And three things that I'm giving away plus three winners, like come on now. Come on now. Yeah, y'all don't want this. Is are you guys are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? The third thing that I'm giving away is a gift card. Gift card, but I'm not saying to wear. That's gonna be a surprise that I submit. So whoever wins, you will be receiving a gift card in your package. So that is painting by Rachel Lamage. I'm definitely adding her Instagram down below just in case anyone wants to buy her art because she worked so hard and her art pieces I promise you are like the best. And um some LED lights because I love my LED lights and that's kind of like my signature uh thing in every video and a gift card to where I ain't saying I ain't saying but it's something it's not gonna be an expensive gift card y'all I'm kinda I, I got bills and stuff to pay too like I'm broke I definitely encourage everyone to definitely be a part of this giveaway like who doesn't like getting free stuff I don't understand my favorite part That's a little, a fling, oh, but shine, no shine, but that shine, but shine, no shine, but that shine. A little brown bone action, you know, when you look. And I don't put my lip gloss on until after I'm done with everything. Let's get into this hair, y'all. It's a shame how makeup make me look different. Like, why can't I look like this on my lip? Forehead is a booming, y'all. Forehead is like out there. So, the phone definitely did die. <laughs> um, But I mean, like, I got it on and I'm about to finish off this video. Um, So yeah, I'm finished with my hair, even though it's not all that good, but um, I definitely am coming up with the TikTok um, content. I think the one that I'm most excited for is the sibling side. And this is something I have to do with my brother, obviously. And I feel like my brother is my rock. Like, he's my rock. He is someone I go to about everything. With his boy problems, that's someone I cry in front of. That's someone that he just knows me. He knows my emotions. He knows me. And, of course, like... If your sibling's not your best friend, what is wrong? What are you doing? Um, so I have that coming up. And then I also think I should do not only the what's in my iPhone, but, you know, let's do some playlists or drive with me playlists or like, you know, something fun. And I also have Lunch and Mondays and I'm pretty sure I want to do Sip and Saturdays. So Sip and Saturdays is where I just rant on about a certain, certain topic. And you know, you sip wine, sip it, sun, sip it Saturdays, sip it Sundays, sip it Saturdays. And yeah, I'm excited. I just have a different type of content coming on, even though I know each of the YouTube pages have like a certain base content. I'm just literally out there. I literally do everything challenges, vlogs. I think I even have a vlog coming up because what i do in my life i don't really do much honestly so i have to do something fun in order to do vlogs so i definitely have some stuff coming up um school just started back and you know since i'm graduating i am doing a college um tip video how to maintain college, how to get through college how to you know keep yourself organized and keep yourself focused and how to get through it um, because, you know, it's a struggle. There's many times I was like, even now, I'm like, I'm dropping out. Forget it. But I'm so close and I feel like people don't understand how fast these years go. It's literally nothing. Once you're done and you do it, you do it and you're done. Story time wasn't really extravagant. 
because there wasn't there wasn't enough juice it was just me like you know not really caring so i really do have some other juicy stories i just gotta watch what i what stories i put out because i do have family members on my account i don't need to be like oh you might tell me this story because i'll be like dang you wasn't supposed to know that story but thank you guys for watching go ahead and comment subscribe to the channel like this video and i got some videos i still got videos coming up and i definitely do have to brainstorm on some interesting videos and some stuff that i want to talk about because the story time is kind of like not really story time but i got y'all with some more juicy stories all right y'all sorry for keeping on here love you guys thank you so much for supporting and don't forget to go into that getaway you guys go click the link below and sign up for that getaway giveaway i keep saying getaway like but y'all go ahead and click that to join into the giveaway and we will be announcing the winners September 15th. So good luck to you guys. Love you guys. See y'all later. Bye.